on the internet. And you are back for part two. So like you saw, we took the island hopper down to the Florida Keys. Early in the morning to meet up with our friends and launch off at his marina to meet up with the rest of the gang. And this is our first time attending this local event. And here they are, Gustavo from Alamar, Miami and Ruben from Labo Marine. And right now we are at the starting point and this is the Key Island Runners Winter Event. And this event is made up of three categories, really fast boats, medium fast boats and then the slow pokes like us. But you know what? The speed doesn't matter as long as you get there and have some fun in the sun and enjoy the sandbar life with your boating friends and for those people that missed out well you should have followed me on instagram for the next one also keep your eyes open for the youtube community posts and we're right back where we left off and if you want to see the whole complete video go look at the description below and click on the link and also the video has a little story but now the story continues and it has a part two and this is getting more interesting by the minute or better said by every time i post a new video and well you guys remember Remember the story I said about the fan that couldn't watch my videos in front of his wife? Well now, that triggered something else. And honestly, I was debating if to say something about her or not. But I decided, you know what? My videos are for entertainment. And I think this is gonna really be entertaining. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. These two ladies DM me on Instagram a few hours after the YouTube video was published. But don't worry ladies, I'm not gonna say your names. But I am gonna tell your stories. Okay, first of all, one was asking about her boyfriend and the other one was asking about her husband. And what they wrote to me was a little different but quite similar and honestly i don't know if they're friends or not basically what they did was they both sent me a picture of their husband and boyfriend's boat asking me if i saw them or have those boats on video and if i did can i please send them a copy and that made me laugh and worry at the same time because i'm just here recording everyone enjoying themselves and having fun on the water not to cause any problems so you if you're out here on the low just be careful and don't worry i'm not sending anyone any videos only if the price is right no i'm just joking so enough of the storytelling and let's get back into the action of the sandbar life at isla morada beat that one on bicycle no i'm just kidding that <laughs> nah, looks beautiful man so this is a full out race boat yes. it has ballast out. tanks it has, out, it, is, uh, it has ballast tanks and everything oh so you're ready to go and the, and you're getting that speed with with twin 300. 300. wow that's amazing it's really fast beautiful man thank, thank you. you so what do you guys think of
So we got here the man in charge of the event. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. Right here doing this awesome event here at Isla Morada Sandbar. Awesome. Thank you, man. This looks awesome. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, yeah, man. I'll be back next time. Yeah. Okay, so I got carried away walking around and looking at all the beautiful boats and people that I lost for the Quito and Joel. So now I have to go look for them.
guys, you gotta give it to the people at Isla Morella Sandbar. They know how to party right. And that's what Sandbar Life is all about. Having fun in the sun with family and friends. And now you know for next year, the Winter Key Island Runners event. But don't feel bad because you missed this one. They have a few more coming up this year. And I'll be posting them on Instagram. So remember, for local activities and daily posts, follow us on Instagram, Fresco Channel. And I got a DM from the first video and someone said that I have a really hard job and I said yes I do but somebody has to do it right and believe it or not recording is not the hard part the hard part is editing Okay guys, so I'm gonna stick around the boat because this is about to get good. Food looking good. Plus, if I leave again, I don't know what time I'll come back and then there'll be no food left over. Because we brung sandwiches, but my kids already ate those. And that leads to a question that a few people ask me. What is my biggest expense? Well, there's one and two. Number one is food and number two is fuel. And there you have it, the Isla Morada Sandbar life is getting better and better. It's getting so good that I actually have enough footage to make a third video. And yes, some of you are not gonna like it but you're gonna have to come back one more time because i have extra stuff that i want to show you and honestly you could tell my voice i don't feel that good and i need a break from editing 